In Korea, Moore's Law is also referred to as Huang's Law. It was proposed by Chung Gyu Huang, the former president of Samsung Electronics, in 2002. This law predicts that the performance of semiconductor integrated circuits will double every 12 months. Through this law, Samsung Electronics has achieved continuous technological innovation and secured strong competitiveness in the global market. Let's delve into the background behind why Moore's Law is called Huang's Law in Korea. Huang's Law was proposed by Chang Yu Huang, the former president of Samsung Electronics. It predicts that the performance of semiconductor integrated circuits will double every 12 months. This prediction suggests that semiconductor technology will develop at a faster pace than Moore's Law, which proposed an 18-month cycle. Chang Yu Huang announced this law in 2002 to encourage the advancement of Samsung's semiconductor technology. Through this, Samsung established global technological leadership in DRAM and NAND flash memory. What is the significance of Huang's law? Huang's law is not just a technological prediction, but also serves as a crucial guideline for Samsung Electronics to sustain technological innovation in semiconductors. Through this law, Samsung has, first, achieved accelerated innovation. The goal of doubling performance every year played a vital role in speeding up the pace of technology development. Next, secured market leadership. By maintaining technological leadership in the memory semiconductor sector, Samsung secured strong competitiveness in the global market. Finally, expanded research and development investments. There's a saying that success breeds success. To continually improve performance, Samsung has induced large-scale R&D investments, leading to further successes. Although the development speed proposed by Huang's law has reached physical limits similar to Moore's law, Samsung Electronics continues to strive to overcome these limits through innovative technological development. For example, continuous performance improvements are pursued through 3D NAND technology, EUV lithography, and new semiconductor materials. Huang's law has acted as a critical guideline that has enabled the Korean semiconductor industry to maintain and develop its competitiveness on the global stage, driving the growth of Korea's technology industry. Here's an interesting topic. Whether technological advancement predictions like Moore's Law or Huang's Law are based on economic analysis or are simply rules created by humans to survive market competition is a fascinating subject for discussion. Let's explore several perspectives on this topic. First, let's look at it from an economic perspective. Firstly, the speed of technological advancement is determined by market demand and supply. Consumers want faster and more efficient technology, which pressures companies to invest in technology development. As the speed of technological development increases, product prices drop creating a virtuous cycle that increases demand. Both Huang's law and Moore's law explain the speed of technological advancement based on these market mechanisms. Secondly, in economics, it is believed that technological innovation enhances productivity and promotes economic growth. Technological advancement reduces costs and creates new markets, positively impacting the entire economy. Moore's Law and Huang's Law can be seen as indicators of the speed of this technological innovation. For instance, Samsung's pursuit of continuous technological innovation through Huang's Law has significantly enhanced productivity, directly contributing to economic growth. Thirdly, companies must continuously develop technology to maintain their competitiveness. This is crucial for survival in the market and is thus a vital economic factor. Therefore, Moore's Law and Huang's Law can serve as guidelines for companies in their technological development. 
Through Huang's law, Samsung has maintained its competitiveness and leads the global market. Let's also consider it from a social and human perspective. Firstly, Moore's law and Huang's law go beyond mere predictions and play a role in setting goals for companies and driving efforts to achieve them. This can act as a self-fulfilling prophecy. As companies strive to meet these laws, the actual pace of technological advancement can accelerate. This impacts both internal goal setting within companies and external market pressures. Secondly, top management in companies make strategic decisions regarding technology development. In this process, Moore's Law and Huang's Law are used as guidelines for deciding on R&D investments and securing competitive advantages in the market. For example, Samsung bases its heavy investments in research and development on Huang's law to achieve technological innovation. Thirdly, these laws present challenges to technologists and researchers promoting innovation. This can act as a crucial factor in accelerating technological advancement. Huang's law has made Samsung's researchers recognize the necessity of continuous innovation thereby promoting technological advancement. In conclusion, Moore's law and Huang's law are not just predictions of technological advancement, but also serve as important guidelines driven by economic factors and the need to maintain market competitiveness. They act as catalysts for companies to continuously invest in and pursue technological innovation. Thus, whether these laws are economic predictions or human-created rules for market survival is a complex discussion. In conclusion, Moore's Law and Huang's Law are the results of a combination of economic and social factors. They serve as crucial guidelines for driving technological advancement and strategic goals for maintaining competitiveness in the market. These laws play a significant role in continuously enhancing technological development speed, thereby positively impacting the overall economy. Knowledge is power.